hey hey peeps it's me k welcome to my channel welcome back if you're already a subscriber so i wanted to share my december daily now that it's done and um i've already put my craft stuff my christmas craft stuff away already um so this is the last thing that i need to share before i put it away so as you know, if you've been following my whole December daily journey, I had a temporary um, binding. I sewed in my um, signatures and I did have to take the pap some papers out. I, I packed them away so I can't show you, but it wasn't too many. I would say maybe four sheets, four or five sheets. Um, I'm going to take this off so it no, doesn't make so much noise. Um, yeah, so I, I had this as the binding. So now it's the closure. And I just added this simple lace here. And um, yeah, it's still really full. <laughs> um, even though I took out pages. So because I don't really go like in order, so some of my the pages are mixed up, but everything is numbered that has to be numbered. And um, some pages don't have any numbers because I just I had some blank pages and I still have a couple of blank pages that, um, you know, because I always do too much. I always do too much. So it's fine that a few other pages are blank. Doesn't bother me. So, yeah, so I'm going to try not to talk too much. But, you know, how I do anyway <laughs> is my first. Uh, page is a little sequence, little window thingy. I don't know. And yeah, there's a picture of me and the brat. That's my day one. I started off good and was going in order. And then as I started going on, you know, some pictures look better on different pages. So I had to like switch it up. Um, here's my day two. This was my December TBR, which I did pretty well on. The only two books I did not read, I believe, is this one and this one. Um, I believe it was this one that I was listening to, and I just could not. I was just bored with it, so I DNF'd it, and I didn't bother to check that one out because it was the same author. I may try her again in the future. This one I'm still waiting for, so I don't know if that one will get read, but I've read a few more since then. You'll see. Oh, I did already upload my, my reading journal, but I am going to do a flip through of that because there are some <laughs> books from December that I've added on there since I did the, um, the last page. Um, yeah, so that was it. Um, so this, this was really special. Now, you know, I kind of watch Christmas movies, but not. Um, I just kind of usually have them in the background for noise, <laughs> to be honest. Because, you know, the Christmas movies, are they're pretty corny and they pretty much all have the same type of plot. I mean, you can really predict what's going to happen, right? But this one was special because it was like a Facts of Life reunion. And back in the day, the Facts of Life was my show. I loved the Facts of Life. And I could relate to almost every character except for Blair and Mrs. Garrett. But everybody else, like Tootie, you know, she was the black girl. Um, um, oh, my God. Natalie, because she was the chubby girl. Um, Joe, because she was a tough girl from, from New York. I believe she was from New York. Um, yeah. So I, I related to, to all of them. And that I just love that show. And so when I watched this movie and, you know, I love Kim Fields. She's a, she's a trip and everything. So I had to watch it. And then when I saw these two were in the movie, I was like, oh my goodness. And then Blair owned the bakery. I'm calling her Blair because I can't remember her real name. <laughs> Blair in the movie owned a bakery and the bakery um, name was, I believe, Edna's Eat which is Edna Garrett from The Facts of Life. So I thought that was so cool. And they FaceTimed Joe. I don't know what her name was in the movie, but they FaceTimed Joe. So it was like a little reunion. So cute. I loved that. So I had to do, I had to find a little old school TV. And, you know, I just got that from Google. And I just, you know, you saw what I did. I don't need to explain it, but yeah. So I had to, I had to put that on there. So Duncan's for... Um, a few weeks they had, I think at the end of 
the end of November or the beginning of December? Probably the beginning of December. Yeah, it was the beginning of December. They had free medium coffee. Um, I'm a Dunkin's girl all the way. I do not like Starbucks whatsoever. So the only thing I hate about Dunkin's is the pink cup. But, you know, that's the only pink thing you'll probably see in my <laughs> in my whole journal. But I uh, went and got my free coffee and then took the brat for a walk. So I just used the cup. I think I use the cup every single year. Um, and I added a little trim this time and added the four, this little Timu sticker. And then um, one of the cards. I just always get it to use it. And then a sticker from Pier T Stickers. I don't know if she's going to open up her shop. It, right now it's on a break, but it's on, been on a break for a while. I don't know if she's going to open up again. Um, I will uh, link it down below so you want to keep an eye on her shop. I miss her stickers, though I have a ton of her stickers. <laughs> I'm always excited like every year what stickers she's going to come out with next. But I think it's a lot of work probably. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know the reason why she took a break. But anyway. Day five was from my prompt because I made a prompt list. I compiled, I should say, because I didn't come up with all this myself. I kind of picked random things off of Pinterest and made a prompt list. And this prompt was number seven. It says, read Mary's song, Luke 1, 46 to 56, and write your thoughts. So that's what I did here behind the journal card. And I, I think that might be the only prompt I used. I don't know even sure if I used any other prompts. But that was that. Um, I made low-carb meatloaf. <laughs> it's the first time I ever made a low-carb meatloaf. Because, you know, you make regular meatloaf, you have to use breadcrumbs. But of course, I couldn't use breadcrumbs. So I didn't know if it was going to fall apart. But it stayed together pretty good. I put almond flour, some parmesan cheese and what else did i put an egg of course i think that was it to keep it together but it, it came out great it was really good um this was day seven we were going to have some s-n-o-w showers i have to spell it because she knows what it means and she'll go run to the window um but it barely was anything <laughs> you couldn't even see it so I'm hoping she gets some this year. She didn't get any last year and she loves it. I don't love it so much, but she loves it. Um, this is my brother. He's my oldest brother and he passed away many years ago. And I always document him in my December daily because December 8th is his birthday. So I added him here. This is just some random New York City um, window display and a Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center tree. I don't do the whole um, thing. I did it a couple of times when I used to work in a medical center only because the, the train that I used to take used to go past um, where Rockefeller Center was. So I used to get off the train and go really quickly to see, but I cannot deal with the tourists. <laughs> it's just too crowded. It's a lot of walking and yeah. And my back can't take it anymore. So my bestie's like, wanna, she wants to come here during Christmas time. I'm like, girl, you're going to be on your own because I can't do it. <laughs> and I used the pictures from the Brat Little Timu haul for day 11 because it was like some cold weather gear. So I thought I would put that for my day 11 and a little for me sticker, a little cozy sweater. This is my day 20. I have a pen pal um, from, well, one of my pen pals is from Hawaii and she sent me pictures from the mall. Um, I'm always curious, like when it's, you know, when, when you live in a, a state or a country that's um, warm in, during Christmas time, like what is it like to people, you know, is it, I don't know. I think I would think it would be kind of weird to, decorate for Chris. I mean, I know people do, but I don't know. I just can't see myself living in a warm uh, state and and decorating for Christmas 
to me, it would just seem so weird. I mean, I, I know people do it, but it just so weird to me. Um, so this is, um, I don't know if this was from, it wasn't from my, my prompt. I don't know where I saw, um, this, I might've saw it on social media. What your, I, what does peace mean to you? And, um, so I just wrote what, you know, when I think of peace, you know, what it means to me. And I just kind of wrote it down. I didn't really think about wording my sentence correctly. I just kind of just whatever spilled out, spilled out. <laughs> and this is actually a um, a Christmas decor that I have. Um, I already packed it away. I will show it to you. But it was a, it like the nativity right here lights up. Um, so I just kind of took a picture of it and then I just use a filter to make it look a little interesting. But I just put peace means resting in the stillness. Sorry about the NYC noises. Okay. Peace means, that's not peace. <laughs> peace means resting in the stillness to allow myself to be overcome by God's presence, to let whatever I'm feeling come to the surface and sit in it. Thank you, Jesus, my Prince of Peace. And then I just put that little journal card right there. And that is it. And a couple of little stickers and number 13. And that is that. And this is, I was gifted this Bible by a long time um, Facebook friend. We met, I believe, in a, not in person, but we met in a Facebook group, I believe, for postcard swaps. Because I, I love postcards. Anytime I go anywhere, I get postcards. If I know somebody's going on a trip, I'm like, send me a postcard or bring me back a postcard. I love postcards. I don't know what it is, but I love postcards. So anyway, um, we were in this group together and she sent me a message and she wanted to gift me this Bible. It was brand new. Um, and she wanted to gift it to me. And so I was so overcome. I was crying happy tears and the brat was looking my happy tears and I was telling her that the brat was <laughs> looking my happy tears and she was like snap a picture of it so I, I snapped a picture of it and um, thought I would put it there so I journaled about it in the little tag back there this is so interesting and I did not screenshot the full comment I should have I probably still could do it but um so okay let me see if I can explain it so I left a comment on, um, I want to say her name right, Kano, Kanoi, oh my goodness, she does a Bible study, um, a Bible in the year Bible study, I probably butchered her name, um, and I commented on it um, saying that I wanted to join um, next year because um, by the time I found out about it, about hers, I think it was probably like the middle of the year or something, or I was doing something else and I don't know what it was. But anyway, I didn't join this year. So I was telling her that I was going to join next year. And then someone um, commented, replied to my comment under her video. And she said, I can't read the whole thing because I didn't open it up all the way. But basically... Um, she says, Kay, I've been doing this study because of you. I'm sub to you from Tsunami Rose. Tsunami Rose, you know, I used to design for. Um, you shared the link at the beginning of the year. And at the time, I was wondering how I was going to get, and I don't remember what she said after that because I didn't open it all the way up. Um, but I'm like, oh, my God, that is so crazy. I don't even remember talking about it. But I guess I did. And what a blessing that that she was doing the study. It's it's God works in amazing and and mysterious ways. Cause I, I really don't even remember. But oh my goodness. I was so I was so I don't know <laughs> blown away by that. Cause I never in a million years expected that. But I'm so happy for her. Okay, so then this, you probably like, who's Maya? So Maya, okay, I'm going to try to make this really quick. So I play this game. It's a life simulation game called The Sims 4. And they came out with um, this kit, 
you, they can buy, you can buy different kits and expansion packs and all that. But they came out with this kit called the book nut kick. And I did a little video of when I first made her. Um, and I decided she's my favorite sim that I ever, ever created. And I decided to play with her during Christmas time, only play with her. So I decorated her house for Christmas. She got Christmas clothes. The clothes and things, I, you know, there's amazing people who do um, custom content and it's free. So I downloaded her like Christmas sweaters and Christmas pajamas and I decorated her house. <laughs> it is so cute. She's so cute. Anyway, I know you'll probably think I'm crazy. But anyway, I love her. Um, this was just one morning, um, one Christmas, one Christmas, one winter morning um i just did cozy morning with jesus because this is usually what the morning looks like the bread is laying across my lap i got the bible here and when before when i didn't read the bible she would lay where the bible is but now she lays there um she's gonna find a spot to lay on me regardless so i was reading um uh, first second third john and jude that morning because they're so short so I end up reading them all. And I did all this in Canva. Another one of the PRT stickers. So there's a blank page. This is my bestie's family, which is also my family. She sent me that on Christmas Day. So I added that. I just did this in Canva again. And I added the little snowflake and the number and the sticker. And then did some journaling behind it. And then again, this is a camera page. I thought this was so cute because my bestie, okay, let me just name all the dogs. You know, that's the brat. This is my bestie's dog, Zoe, and my bestie's dog, Lily. Now, she also has a cat named Chloe. Um, her dog, Midnight, passed away this year, unfortunately. Um, and she had a dog, JC. I don't know why JC didn't have no pajama picture, but Maybe JC didn't want to put pajamas on. But JC, she has another dog named JC. So these these two, this is Gucci and this is Abby. And this is my friend Christine's. And Theodora is Christine's cat. So I thought it would be so cute to do like a little collage of all the fur babies. So I just put pajama party and I did this in Canva as well. I think it's so cute. <laughs> they all look so cute in their little jammies. Abby's so tiny, her little... A little pajamas are swimming on her. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like swimming on her poor thing. She's so tiny. <laughs> so this here is my Christmas mugs, Christmas and winter mugs, I guess you could say. And my circles are not perfect. They are wonky. I know when my subscriber was saying how um how perfect my my circles are but they really aren't they are very wonky and i put the gold around here so it didn't look so bad <laughs> i had a totally uh, a different vision in my head of this and it just didn't work but it's fine so this is the bestie sent me happy mail during christmas time and i just added the journaling on the back here on that card just some stickers that's my little decorative page. This is a picture of me. I want to say about three or four years old. It's the only picture I have of myself during Christmas time as a child. And um, I've used it many times in my December daily and I try to do different things with it. So this one I put Laura, Ingle, Laura Ingalls Wilder. I used to love Little House on the Prairie back in the day. I put that quote over it. I don't know if I can read it. I'll try. Our hearts grow tender with childhood memories and love of kindred. And we are better throughout the year for having in spirit become a child again at Christmas time. It's a little difficult to read, um, but I think I read it right. And then this I initially had down here, but I really did want it up here. <laughs> I put it down here by mistake. But when um, I didn't wait for it to dry and it fell off. And then I just added the little sticker. I thought that was cute because we kind of have the same hairstyle. <clears throat> and then this is, um, I did this in Canva as well. This is some of my faith goals for next year. Um, do Bible in a year, scripture writing. Um, and to do my Bible studies, the 
Bible studies that I bought from the Daily Grace Co. A year ago, I'm just going to say this really quick. A year ago, so I think a year or a year and a half ago, I don't even remember. I had bought all these Bible studies from the Daily Grace Co. And I had bought the Bible that I use now. And I think I bought another Bible. I was like all, you know, geared up to do it. But my heart really wasn't in it. And I was kind of just going through the motions and just kind of hurrying up and, you know, using it as a check. Okay, I did it. It's a to-do to -do list. You know what I'm saying? Just okay, I did the Bible study today, check. And my heart wasn't in it. So I stopped. Um, I stopped doing it until I can really devote my time and really surrender and give it all to God. And, um, and this year I did it. So anyway, I was about to get all emotional. Sorry. <laughs> so I just put reading, learning God's word, believe, and um, I have more goals, but for right now, those are what I put in. Yeah, more blank pages, blank pages, because um, I had nothing else to put. And then this was Christmas morning. I just snapped a few pictures. It was uh, very warm for New York. It was like in the 50s. So I didn't leave the brat's pajamas on all day like I usually do. I just had them on for the picture, and I took them off of her because it was, and I even change minds and put a t-shirt on because it was just too warm so I just snapped those pictures again did it in Canva added a little sticker and then I love the pictures were so cute I just did another one and I needed to fill up some pages so I added another picture of her in her pajamas and I just put this little sticker I've been good all year I promise you're yeah, right I spelled out her name well not her name her nickname one of her many nicknames and I had the Christmas cards in the pockets, but since I had a lot of blank pages, I just went ahead and glued them on there. So this was from my bestie. And my bestie, when she sent me the pictures of the dog, she sent me the picture of her in her Christmas pajamas in front of the Christmas tree. And I think this was in, like in November, though, <laughs> I think. I'm not even sure. So I saved it and I took a picture of myself in my Christmas pajamas with my coffee mug. My Christmas coffee mug and then I just added that from Canva as well Added a little sticker a little December and then I did some journaling back there these are some pictures that I printed but I never put in um, I didn't put in put them in because I did the collage this is the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree before and after um, so I just added a sticker there and then this card is from my friend Chris let me explain this really quick. So this is just some fabric. I had this um, zipper that someone sent me. So I just stitched on the zipper and I stitched this fabric on here. And I did this because it reminded me of pajamas when I was little, um, the onesie pajamas. And for some reason, the zipper was always crooked. Like it would never zip up straight. And that's what it reminded me. I don't know why I think of these random things, but if that's what it reminded me of. So I just put um, this little special delivery Tim Holtz coin. And I did that because I wanted to put some of my favorite uh, childhood gifts that I got in the past. And this one was probably my ultimate favorite. I think I cried forever and wore that thing out <laughs> when I got Michael Jackson's Off the Wall album. I don't remember who gave it to me. I don't know if it was my mom or one of my siblings. But um, this this one, I really probably shouldn't have put this one because this was like my favorite for like two seconds. I wasn't really big into like Barbie dolls or anything, but um, I really just liked the elevator. It was the Barbie um it wasn't the dream house. It was a townhouse because it had the elevator. The elevator is really what I wanted. I don't really care about everything else. I just love the elevator. <laughs> so um, the cabbage patch was probably my favorite, like, girly, I guess, my favorite doll, I should say, because I wasn't really much into dolls. I liked cars and, um, like, my brother. I had three brothers, so I had they had cars and, like, my brother had this racetrack I, I was obsessed with, but he never would let me play with it because he was afraid I was going to break it. But when he wasn't home, I used to sneak and play with it. <laughs> oh, good times. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm going down memory lane. An easy bake oven. That was my jam. I think I baked everything the same day. 
And then when I got my boom box, I got glue on there or something got on there and it scratched off. But when I got my, my boom box with the double cassette, you couldn't tell me nothing. I thought I was, I was the girl, you know, I was making mixtapes. I should have been having, I should have had a little business going, making like mixtapes with my friends and stuff. I didn't have a lot of friends. I was kind of a loner. But um, yeah, just added this little memories, a little bottle cap. Um, my bestie sent me this card uh, for when she sent me the first box of goodies and it was in the fall. But my, my, my fall journal was too narrow. I did the tall skinny, so it didn't fit. So I stuck it in here. And then, yeah, more empty pages. But that's, you know, that's pretty indecorative. So I don't mind that being blank. And then this is, I don't remember what I typed in here. I was just feeling real grateful that day. And I just typed in a little prayer inside my coffee cup. This is my Bible. This is my new reading journal that you will see soon. I'm making a video of it soon. I love that they have the same little bun. And then this is my Timu uh, haul. On there, so I keep my pages as you can see very simple. This is why I was able to finish <laughs> finish it. So you know, I did a lot of Canva stuff, a lot of um, collages, and all that kind of stuff. Just added a few stickers, and I try not to stress too much about it. So this is some of my favorite journals that I made this year. So I wanted to document that one. And last but not least, the chosen Christmas special. So. I'm not going to go too much into it because if you know, you know, I'm obsessed with The Chosen. So I'm not going to go too much into it. But if you've never even seen the show, you should check out the Christmas special because you won't be spoiled. It's not going to spoil anything about The Chosen. It has nothing to do with The Chosen. Um, it has, well, it has the same father. <laughs> that's the only, that's the only thing. The same father and... Um, and Mary Magdalene is is in um, is in the the Chosen special, but otherwise it has nothing to do with the show. So if you've never seen the Chosen, watch the Christmas special because it's really really good. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. It's really really good, but um, I loved it. It was so good. It was so so good. So that's it. That is my December daily for 2023. Another one bites the dust. So I am. Um, I'm always I'm always sad when December daily is over. It went so fast. It seemed like it went so fast. I don't know. I don't know. It went really fast. But I always love doing December daily, even though I don't have a lot going on. And people always, you know, a lot of people always say that they don't do it because they don't have a lot going on. But I really have nothing going on and I still manage to do a December daily every year. I don't even remember which year this is. I've been doing it many, many years and yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. But anyway, it's nice to look back at them to see how different your life is. Um, it's amazing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all, for all of you who have been watching my process videos during my little December daily journey. And, um, yeah, that's it. Um, that's the wrap for this year. And, uh, I hope you subscribe. You'll stick around for next year. And, uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to see from me that maybe I'm not doing that you are curious about or whatever. Let me know. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. We almost have one K you guys. We almost there. We're creeping up there. We're creeping up there. <laughs> Oh, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching and have a great New Year's if I don't see you before then. All right, you guys. Stay safe and blessed. Bye.